Good afternoon, this is my Shaman Oracle reading for this new week. And today I already read for most zodiac signs and I'm finishing up reading for Pisces. Welcome Pisces. The reading is pretty much like the last week's reading. I'm using the same decks, but I added one card at the end to the Moon and Stars Tarot deck. And the reading starts with the Sacred Sites. And the Sacred Sites Oracle deck is about holy places around the world and how such holy places do relate to life and to the people living there. The card that came out for you is Varanasi and Varanasi is in India. Location is Uttar Pradesh. And the energy focus is on overcoming. You are asked, does it feel as if your dreams are always being dashed or that all your plans, they go awry because something else steps in the way? The Hindu elephant headed the Tiganesh offers you assistance for he is the remover of all obstacles. Ganesh is the god of beginnings and called upon at the start of ceremonies and new enterprises. He is sitting in the lower world of this card and so guarding the river Ganges where the Hindus take a bath in order for their life to be made complete. The holy water causes remission of sins and facilitates moksha or freedom from the cycle of life and of death. So take a moment to look at what is preventing you from moving toward your goals and then ask Danish to remove any obstacles in your path. Do this as you imagine passing in the river Ganges, allowing the holy waters to cleanse you of all that has been pulling you down in your life, enabling you to step out purified and whole and ready to manifest your desires. Imagine walking through the colorful and bustling streets of Varanasi, one of the most popular pilgrimage sites for Hindus where Lord Shiva is believed to reside. Whatever one sows in this sacred city is reaped a thousand times. So Varanasi is filled with temples and with shrines. It is a city of spiritualism, philosophy and mysticism. Take a look at your own environment. Is your house cluttered? and chaotic or ordered and serene. External surroundings, they often reflect our inner state. So take some time now to throw away unwanted items to make room for the things you really need. And doing this will help cleanse negative energies from your home or your place of work. Ask, do you have a special place where you can seek sanctuary and guidance? You can create a sense of sanctuary and peace at home by playing music or 
listen to the sounds of nature such as ocean waves, rustling wind or animal calls or other soothing noises such as church bells or chimes. In the upper world, the river goddess Ganga is holding in her hands two water pots. The essence runs through India in the form of the river Ganges, offering the opportunity to wash away the sins. What aspects of your life would you like to just wash away? Consider making a pilgrimage to this great river or simply immerse yourself in a local river or even in a shower. The running water of some sort is holding in your mind the image of Ganga carrying off you of your regrets, your fears and your worries. So bath in her purity as she cleanses you, washing away all guilt and restoring you to wholeness. Release and forgive and you will break free from your chains. Whether the obstacles in your life are physical or emotional, remember that obstacles, they can always be overcome. Now do the meditation on OM. It is an Indian philosophical belief that God first created the sound and that the universe arose from it. As the most sacred sound, the Sanskrit word Om is the root of the universe and its vibration continues to hold everything together. Find a quiet place and if you are able, sit in a cross-legged pose with your eyes closed, focus on your third eye in your forehead between your eyebrows. Do this for the entire exercise. Now take a deep breath in and out and start to chant OM slowly. Repeat for as long as it feels comfortable and as you continue to chant this mystical mantra, you will discover clarity of thought, internal sight and connection with the universe. And when you feel ready to come back, bring your hands together in the prayer position and say Namaste. Focusing on stillness, and on peace in this way each day will allow you to step away from any chaos and any obstacles in your life. Das Shamanen Oracle is a German deck and the card that came out is the armor or the shield of protection. The wisdom of your elders gives you and us the visions needed for our search through life. So the card shows an armor, that shield, which is used by the warriors of indigenous tribes to fend off flying arrows that easily could hurt them. Often shields, they had paintings on them visions of a medicine man and this medicine man has a deeper insight into spiritual matters. The medicine man might use some feathers, bird feathers, to give a magical protective force to that shield. Shields, they were important in old traditions Shields they gave protection and they were a custom 
a holy and a solemn ceremony custom to celebrate special powers and protect one's tribe. Shields, they are to be taken from place to place and so too is the medicine wheel going from place to place. The medicine wheel even becomes a drum occasionally, so a shield is a powerful object increasing the energy of the one who is using that shield. The best medicine for you is to stay calm and have no fear, is the message. Trust the great spirit, take a deep breath, and then slowly breathe out. Do you feel the empowerment? Give up your higher tasks to a higher spirit and use your self-trust, knowing that all will be okay. With regards to relationships, use your relationships, family, friends, loved ones, to feel secure. Let special people know that it is okay if they are not perfect all the time and remain loyal to your loved ones. There is medicine aspect. Even a dream catcher is a mighty and a mystical shield of protection. The Native American card that came out for you is the is the wait a moment Tiwanaka no Tirawa Tirawa and the cosmic buffalo. The card is about fulfillment. Tirawa is the god of the heavens, the creator of the world and the guardian of the cosmic buffalo. Now the trilling starts again. Each of the buffalo's hooves is a part of the cadence of the four eras, moving until it is completely consumed. When the last hoof when the last hoof is consumed, then the world will enter a phase of destruction from which it will rise again only with the buffalo's rebirth. So this is the life cycle and a reminder that there is a proper time for everything. Periods of lack, they are followed by times of abundance. The message is, if the things are not how you would like them, remember that the natural cycles of life will bring about change. Everything is born, grows and dies, thus attaining fulfillment. Keywords are fulfillment, completion, cycles, rebirth, the power of time, endings, and beginnings and the time of the card is the ending or the conclusion of a situation or of a season the dungeons and the dragons card that came out is called for you the seven of strengths and it's about dealing with the overwhelming, letting go of what causes stress, perfectionism, desire, fear, and future tripping. The special message is that, that you find a magical sword. So roll a dice, one Dice is six, one minus three, it is a plus one sword. Four to six, it is a plus one sword that when unsheathed sings loudly. <laughs> and the last card is the 
is of wands first one from the moon and stars tarot and the ease of wands is about action creativity and expansion and the meaning is the new beginning this ace is a card of inspiration releasing potential it is a time to take action to make your dreams come true as new beginnings are on the horizon so take energy from around you to expand and listen to your intuition now is an exciting moment as a creative spark inspires a blank canvas a possible new business venture or creative project is on the cards so be prepared to start a new relationship on your travels and the moon message is be inspired and begin your journey and the second card is the tower it is about unexpectedness leveling, leveling out reasoning foundation renewal and some pride a meteor shower strikes into a tower and smashes the top of it signifying the sudden impact of a situation however this change does not affect the foundations they are solid and they can be rebuilt upon once more light shines from inside the tower so this is the support around you from your friends and your family the crescent moon speaks of fate this transformation was needed for you to continue your life's destiny the card is about transformation change is coming and it will be very quick and unexpected however it is for the better as you will instantly feel free this sudden change is the start of a fresh outlook as you will gain contentment in knowing you are not the one to be blamed for it so if you are now heading down your spiritual path as you have been released from any unneeded drama within work finances and relationships remember that no matter the challenges life throws at you you will always have a strong and a sturdy foundation to rebuild from star message is you do not need to overthink things you are following your life journey so look for the new possibilities that are now opening up as a result see this moon magic affirmation i surrender to circumstances and i trust that i can rebuild and renew that was the reading for you pisces thanks for listening wishing you a joyous wednesday wishing you a very good rest of the week take care and goodbye